Hi, this is uh, Matt from Broken Communications. Um, today I'm going to walk you through how to create a user on Counterpass Stretto provisioning portal. So as you can see here on screen, this is the Counterpass CCS, uh, which is the cloud provisioning portal that you'll get access to when you buy Brio Stretto licenses from us. Um, so as you can see here, I'm just at the login stage. Uh, so obviously, once you purchase licenses from us, you will receive an email with login details to this portal. So you'll need to make sure you enter these details here to log in. Um, I'm just using one of ProView trial accounts here just, just for the demo. Um, so if I just go ahead and log in here. Um, obviously, if you log in successfully, you should see this screen here. Obviously, instead of ProView trial 4, you would see like your domain name that you've created. So as you can see, there's just a couple of options here on the left hand side. Um, so you've got an option for users. So this is the screen where where you create a user, it will all be listed down here. So this is where you will create and manage all of your users for Stretto. You've also got SIP.xmpp. This is one of the templates that is that is used when you create a user. So you can have multiple SIP templates on here. So if you you basically use this if you want quick, you know, quick user creation. So if you know you're going to be creating 10 users that are going to be registering to the same PBX, you could create a duplicate of this template and actually put in the domain that you're registering to on that template. And then when you go ahead and create that user, you can assign that template and it will automatically put in what you've already put in on the template. You've also got a uh, user email notification template. This is just a default template that's, that's created by Counterpath. Um, it's if you're going to be sending any emails through CCS. Um, to the users that you've created. So just to get started, I'm just going to go to the users section here um, and you'll see the option to create a new user at the top. So if you just press this um, and then on the right hand side, you'll see some options for that, that you can fill in for the user. So you can see you've got provisioning username here. Um, so if I just use my name here as an example, um, obviously, the person you create it for, you could either use their name, um, or you could use the, you know, their DDI, um, or, you know, or whatever you want it to be, um, and also a provisioning password as well. Um, so obviously, you'll just put, make sure you do make a secure password for this, um, and obviously you can put in their email address below as well. So obviously, if you are wanting to send notifications to them, um, you can go ahead and put in their email address. Um, You'll see the option for the profile as well, which you can see is assigned here. So like I said earlier, if you do have multiple templates, you can select from this drop down list and it'll let you choose one of them. And if you just scroll down slightly here, you'll see the attributes for account one SIP. So this is where you'll pop in your SIP account details that you're wanting to register. Um, so obviously, if I just pop in here 1001, I'm just going to use a demo account here. Um, so the account name, you can obviously make that up. Um, in this case, it's going to be 1001. Um, authorization name will need to be the SIP extension. Uh, you'll also have the option for the display name. Uh, this can be made up, so obviously you could have the extension number or you could have the, the name of the person who's going to be calling from this account. Um, and obviously you'll need the password. This this will need to be the SIP password that's created on the, uh, on the on-site PBX or hosted PBX. Uh, you've also got the option for username as well, uh, so you can just pop in the extension number again there, and then you'll need the domain of the PBX, so you can just pop that in there, um, and that is all you'll need to register a SIP account on there. Um, obviously, depending on what sort of PBX you use, you might require like SIP proxy, um, and if you are using TLS, then there's some more attributes to go on to there. Uh, but obviously, I'm not going to cover that in this video. This is just showing the basic uh, creation of a user. Um, so obviously, you can see there are a lot of attributes on here. So you've, you've got the options for XMPP. Um, so if you do have the options for, if you do have your own hosted XMPP server on site, uh, you can enter your details on there. Um, I'm not going to go into that in this one. Um, so if you just go ahead and hit save on that, you'll notice that the user appears here on this screen. Um, so all those details that you have put in, like the provisioning username and password, they will be here. So as you can see, my SIP details are there. Um, and obviously, depending on the type of license that you've purchased from us, um, you'll be able to download Stretto on the device. So if, for example, you're using it on a mobile device, uh, an Android one, for example, 
um, you need to go to the Play Store and download the Brea Stretto application, and then you would just simply log in with the provisioning username and password that you've created. Um, so as soon as you log in, it'll automatically attempt to register that SIP account that you've that you've put in here. Um, and that's that's all you need to do for the creation of a user. Um, thanks for watching this video. Uh, obviously, if you have any queries, just uh, please you know drop an email or give us a call. Um, I'll leave some more details in the description of the video. Thank you for watching.